Hi, welcome back everyone. We are continuing from last lesson on stairs. We are running free Tecla training classes every Saturday. Please visit our website techone.com.au for information about the next lessons. These lessons will be rerun once we finish this series. I'll recap on how to calculate total rise and the going involved. The total rise you have to calculate from floor to floor. The rise from floor to mid landing, if any, should be the same as the rise from mid landing to the next floor. So you have the total rise, you have the number of step per rise is total rise divided by number of steps. Now to calculate the going, it's slightly different. You will have the total going and the number of steps per going will be total going divided by number of steps minus one. So in this case, on uh, the first flight, we have 16 steps. So we are going to take one off and then per going, it is going to be 300. I have seen people doing a lot of construction lines, points, this, that, etc. You don't have to do all that. Use an Excel sheet. Excel sheet is the best way to calculate uh, going and rise. Do not use CAD for that. These were the points we have put earlier to for the nosing points. So check the rise and going first. To check rise, you have to lock X coordinates. See, that's the X direction. To lock X, press X key on the keyboard and then pick this point and this point. And that will be the rise. To measure the going, you have to lock Z coordinate. First, you unlock X by pressing X key again and then press Z key after putting the mouse at the point where you want to lock. So you lock here and then between these two points so that's a going so 169 and 300 is as per our calculation <coughs> the next thing to do is to set out our nosing points along the horizontal direction so we have a drawing here which gives some dimensions which is 2660 1880 to the first nosing point from landing and uh, then to the back of the landing 2567 for this one we have 2283 from the back of the landing to the first nosing point so we have to use these dimensions to set the nosing points i have keyed in the values to, to this point input which is uh, parallel points and i have put these points locking X and then putting a point from here to here so our metal our plates should move from here to here this is our nosing point and the plates is at 30 and 30 from the nosing point I'm using the command move special linear and keyed in 30 and 30 and going to move I'm going to click off the point so that I don't move the points okay I have moved the points so it's actually 24 and 18 uh, to this nosing points I'm going to use copy special from object to object to copy a few more traits the first landing is after 15 rises, so I have to uh, do 16 rises. I'm using an Excel sheet to calculate, so one rise is that much, and the 16 rises is this much. So I'm going to copy this point up by 2713. So copy. There you go. I'll try that one. Copy. Okay, here it is 2713. So I'll Nosing point should end up here. I'm locking Z and drawing a construction line here. It's 
So I copied all the place now. This should be 30. Why the hell is 39? All right, 39 is no good. We got to have it as 30. So there was uh, error was because there was a fractional error. Uh, we need to use that rice and the going we know is uh, 300. So I'm going to use that rice and copy. So we'll go back to Tekla and uh, this is the tread which is 30 millimeters down from the finished floor. That is a steel plate. And I'm going to use copy spatial. That's the value copied from Excel, and we know uh, going is 300. I'm going to copy this uh, 16 times. Okay, so now this should be 30. Let's check that one. Yeah, 28.8 is pretty good, close enough. As for this drawing, uh, this nosing point has to be 2 to 8, 3 from the back of the landing. The back of the landing itself is uh, at that distance from grid 10. Okay, I have moved these lines uh, to the correct position. Oh, particular. So 2 to 8, 3. But you also check the headroom at the, from the nosing point actually headroom from anywhere so there should be more than uh, 2 meters 1.95 meters so it's 3 meters so headroom no problem now we have to copy all this from here to the next landing now we have to copy all these threads To here we have to establish this point first so we have to establish the center line of these uh, two stairs two flights so we have certain dimensions here we have certain dimensions here there's a center line which is marked here let's use that I'm going to just see whether uh, this ends up okay that is there and if I move it to 91 it goes to 1400 so if I use a similar line here that is also 1400 so that is the center line so if I add up all that and use the center line then I can set out the stair so I am going to come to the midline center line of the void opening then I am going to distribute that equally about this center line and then go 700 and 700 to pick up the stair midlines so here are the construction lines in plan view which I have created so 320 which is a 210 plus 110 and then 700 and 700 for the center lines so based on those construction lines, I have now established two dummies so that I can copy all these threads from this dummy to that dummy. So let's do that one now. So this is what I have now uh, copied. And when you look at the elevation view, all these threads should match because the nosing point should match. Uh, so that's the result, but you really have to put check whether it's correct. Now you might have to move the nosing point again so that you get this landing. So the next thing to do is to set out the width of these uh, tread plates. You look at this drawing, level 7 plan, it gives you certain distances from the center line and also from handrail to the end of the tread plate. Uh, use that and set out these dimensions. The other thing that you have to do is to set out the nosing point of the PFC stringer so you can see that the, here is a nosing point the PFC is slightly above normally it is between 10 mm and 20 mm so I put it to 20 mm here is the uh, set out as I have got I'll upload this model to 
to the Dropbox. You can download and check, but what I would like you to do is actually model all these things. And uh, by next class, what I would like you to do is model, model this backside. There's a column somewhere here, check the drawing and also model the landing. See, I already put these plates here, which is on the landing. Now, this will be one single plate. Now, the other thing is, this string here has to go under this, under these plates. It cannot be like that on the landing. Up to the landing, it's okay, but when it comes to the landing, this has to drop underneath. Uh, you have to make all these changes. So, there will be a couple of issues here when the when the PFC comes around, uh, these levels will be slightly different. You've got to deal with that or come up with a proposal to me.